Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of Zilfit TV. Today I am going to compare between the old Eleco IPF squat stand bench and the new one. According to the Eleco video on the new uh, IPF bench, there are over 50 different changes that they've made. Now I'm going to attempt to find as many as I can uh, in this video. So let's get started. Let's start with the biggest change of all, which is the design philosophy. The old combo rack has been around for over 10 years. It has served the spot really well, but the design is a little bit outdated. The new bench is more rounded and has more curves. It comes in one color, which is uh, charcoal, uh, versus the um, old combo rack, which comes in, um, initially it comes in uh, silver, and then I believe they made one in black. Both follow the IPF competition uh, combo rack specs. Next, the new IPF combo rack's lever arm feel a bit rough versus the old combo rack. One of the big difference that's immediately noticeable are the knurlings on the lever arm on the new bench. This gives it a nice feel to it, although I'm not too sure if it helps during competition. You'll also notice that the rubber at the end is different. On the old combo rack, it's a piece of rubber cap while on the new benches, uh, it's more like uh, a rubber ring. The end of the new lever arm also has the Eleco logo, which is a nice touch. Although the new Comborax lever arm look a whole lot cooler than the old one, I feel that the rubber cap protects the part of the arm that smashes into the rack better. Other small changes that I can see is the type of nut being used. The old bench uses a standard nuts and bolts while the new one the new one uses Allen key type bolts. The pins. Even the pins are not spared from being updated. Comparing them side by side, the old pin looks a tiny bit longer than the new one. However, the new pin head has, you guessed it, knurlings on them. Next, we move on to the rollers. I feel, and I can be wrong here, the old rollers feel a bit more plasticky versus the rubbery texture of the new one. FYI, these rollers can be replaced as and when it gets worn out. Both the old and new combo racks use Allen key type bolts but the new one has a flat head instead of the rounded top. Moving on, we have the design of the hooks. I don't know how to explain it but the old hooks have a cutaway that you can see here, while the new combo rack is straight up rectangular in shape. As you probably noticed, there is a black plastic guard on the new bench and they're, and they're there on both the squat and bench hooks. This prevents grating of the bar against the metal uprights and probably slows down the wear and tear of the bar. Moving to the back of the rack, you'll see a few Eleco stickers on the old combo rack. One each on the upright and one on the cross member of the bench. As for the new combo rack, it has two metal plates with the Eleco logo on them on the upright and one logo right at the bottom of the bench pad. Next, the safety arms. On the old bench, the safety arms are fatter. I'm unsure as to how this affects the new safety arms when it comes to handling weight uh, being dropped on them. You'll also notice that the safety arms on both benches have the black plastic guard. However, the materials used are different. The new bench has a more shiny plastic look to it and the old combo rack safety arms uh, plastic guard is somewhat matte plastic. As we go down the safety arms, we can see the locking mechanism. To adjust the height of the arms is also different. The old IPF combo rack uses a sort of latch system you see here, while the new combo rack uses the same pin found on the lever arm. Even the pin holes have been orientated differently. The old arms have the holes pointing from side to side, 
and the new one has them facing from front to back. Other small changes that one may find other knobs, the type of knobs and the number of knobs being used on each combo rack. Both uses the screw-in knobs. The color and design though is slightly different. On the old IPF combo rack, there are eight knobs versus two on the new one. One area that I thought needed improvement was the spotter stepping pad. On the old combo rack, the pads are towards the inside of the bench. In other words, the spotter would be standing right on top of the lifter and the lifter would be staring directly at his uh, twig and two berries. On the new combo rack, however, the pads are centered on the cross member, allowing the spotter to stand a tad behind the lifter. I'd advise spotters to put on their underwear every time to avoid any distractions for the lifters. Furthermore, the pads on the new combo rack is significantly wider and has a grippier surface than the old one. Apparently, Elico uses the grip tape used on all rigs. What that means, I don't know, but it's certainly grippier than the, old, the ones on the old combo rack. Remember when I mentioned about the knobs? Well, here you're about to see why there are so many on the old IPF combo rack. In order to adjust the upright, you have to turn two knobs, lift the little collar up and tilt the upright. On the new rack, you have the patent pending lever that simplifies the whole thing. It's so easy. This is one of the major feature upgrades on the new bench. Another major upgrade would have to be the bench pad itself. I think this has generated a lot of debate among the powerlifting community. First of all, the old IPF bench pad is softer and covered with leather. This leather will crack over time. On the other hand, the new bench is made out of a single layer of polyurethane pressed against the padding to create a super durable surface, although much harder. Another nifty feature on the new bench pad is the knurlings where your upper back rests against the, the, the bench. Also, there's a cool Eleco logo embossed right at the bottom of the uh, bench. Small details, right? As we go down the bench, there are more Eleco logos to be found. On the leg of the old bench, there's one Eleco sticker. And on the new bench, right underneath the padding is another logo. Lastly, the rubber pads underneath the whole combo rack. What I notice is the rubber pad on the old rack is smaller in size than the new one. The new one also has them underneath the safety arms, which the old rack did not have. That's giving the new IPF combo rack more grip, which makes it more difficult for it to move around the platform. So there you have it. Those are all the differences that I could find between the old Eleco combo rack and also the new one. Whether or not these changes actually improve your lifts, that's a question that only you can answer. So I invite you to come over to our showroom in Space U8 Bukit Jelutong Shah Alam. We have both combo racks here. You can try them out yourself and let me know. And for those of you who have already tried both combo racks, let me know what you think in the comment section below. By the way, based on the promo video by Eleco when they launched the new bench, they said that the changes that they've made actually improves uh, the timing between lifts in a competition. So I suppose um, it's not just about the lifters, but the whole experience of the competition itself. Um, so anyway, if you have any questions about the, the combo racks, um, again, please feel free to leave your comments down below. I'll try my best to answer all your questions. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, uh, please do so. I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, uh, please, if you don't mind, give it a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. So that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again in the next Zilfit TV episode. Ciao.